Ever wondered about the biggest insurance payouts in history? They're more than just staggering dollar amounts. They represent the aftermath of monumental events, natural disasters that have shaped our world, and the pivotal role of insurance in the economic recovery process. From massive blackouts to destructive hurricanes, from ground-shaking earthquakes to catastrophic financial crises, these insurance claims tell stories of resilience and recovery. So buckle up. We're about to take a thrilling journey through time and money. Let's rewind to 2003, a year that saw an unprecedented power outage affecting millions across the U.S. and Canada. It was a typical summer day on August 14th, when suddenly the lights went out. From New York City to Toronto, millions found themselves in darkness as the power grid collapsed. The cause? A software bug in an Ohio-based power company's control room system. This tiny glitch snowballed into a catastrophe, resulting in the largest blackout in North American history. Over 50 million people were left without electricity, with some areas remaining in darkness for up to four days. The effects were far-reaching. Air conditioning units fell silent as the summer heat raged on. Traffic lights ceased to function, leading to chaos on the roads. Businesses shut down, unable to operate without electricity. Even water supplies were affected, as treatment facilities couldn't function without power. But perhaps the most alarming impact was on the healthcare sector. Hospitals had to rely on backup generators to keep life-saving equipment running. Imagine being in the middle of a surgery when the lights go out or needing dialysis treatment and having nowhere to go. The economic impact was staggering. The outage cost the U.S. and Canadian economies an estimated $6 billion, a hefty price tag that included lost productivity, spoiled food, and additional emergency services, and then came the insurance claims. Businesses filed claims for business interruption and spoilage losses. Homeowners filed claims for spoiled food and other damages. The total insurance payout? A whopping $6 billion. This massive payout underscores the crucial role of insurance in mitigating the financial implications of such disasters. It's not just about replacing spoiled food or covering lost earnings, it's about providing a lifeline when the lights go out, literally and figuratively. A dark day indeed, and a stark reminder of our dependence on power and insurance. Fast forward to 2008 and the wrath of Hurricane Ike is unleashed. Like a monstrous beast from the depths of the ocean, Hurricane Ike roared onto the scene in September, leaving a trail of devastation in its wake. This was no ordinary storm. With a diameter stretching over 500 miles, Ike was a force to be reckoned with, a tempest that would etch itself into the annals of weather history. First, it set its sights on Cuba, tearing through the island with winds that soared to over 130 miles per hour. The result was catastrophic. Homes, businesses, and infrastructure were leveled to the ground leaving the Cuban landscape a mere shadow of its former self. The cost of the damage was astronomical, but the human toll was even greater. But Hurricane Ike wasn't finished. Next, it turned its wrath towards Texas. The Lone Star State braced itself as Ike barreled ashore, leaving a swath of destruction in its path. Buildings crumbled, power lines snapped, and entire neighborhoods were submerged under the storm surge. The city of Galveston was particularly hard hit with the historic Strand District virtually wiped off the map. When the dust settled, the financial aftermath was staggering. The insurance claims piled up, reaching a mind-boggling $20.5 billion. This was one of the largest insurance payouts in history, a testament to the sheer magnitude of Ike's fury. But amidst the rubble and ruin, there was a glimmer of hope. The insurance industry stepped up, providing the financial support needed to start the rebuilding process. From ruined homes to shattered businesses, insurance payouts provided a lifeline for those affected, helping them to pick up the pieces and start anew. In the face of such destruction, the insurance industry played a pivotal role in recovery efforts. The story of Hurricane Ike serves as a stark reminder of the power of nature, but also of the resilience of humanity and the essential role of insurance in aiding recovery and rebuilding lives. Travel back to 1994 when the earth shook in Northridge, California. It was a chilling January morning just before dawn when the peaceful slumber of the San Fernando Valley was shattered by a violent tremor. The Northridge earthquake, as it came to be known, had a magnitude of 6.7 on the Richter scale, 
and it lasted a terrifying 20 seconds. The quake's epicenter was located in Reseda, a neighborhood in the city of Los Angeles. But its impact was felt far and wide. Buildings crumbled, highways collapsed and gas mains exploded, sparking fires that raged unchecked as the water mains were also broken. The city was plunged into darkness and chaos, as the tremor left 60 people dead and thousands injured. But the devastation didn't stop there. The tremor caused significant destruction to the San Fernando Valley, a major hub of economic activity. Thousands of businesses were affected, many of them suffering structural damage that rendered them inoperable. Residential properties were not spared either, with many homes left uninhabitable due to severe damage. The financial fallout of this disaster was immense. The total economic loss was estimated to be about $44 billion. Of this, an astronomical $20.6 billion was claimed in insurance payouts, making it one of the most expensive natural disasters in U.S. history for the insurance industry. This monumental payout underscores the vital role insurance plays in recovery from such devastating events. It enabled businesses to rebuild and resume operations, families to repair or replace their damaged homes, and the local economy to regain its momentum. The Northridge earthquake was a wake-up call, not just for California but for the entire country. It highlighted the vulnerability of modern cities to natural disasters and the critical importance of adequate insurance coverage. A tremor that sent shockwaves through the insurance world. A testament to the industry's resilience. Take a step back to 1992, a year marked by the fury of Hurricane Andrew. In the early morning of August 24th, the world woke up to news of a rampaging beast tearing through the heart of Florida. This beast was Hurricane Andrew, a Category 5 hurricane that left an indelible mark on the annals of weather history. Louisiana, Florida and the Bahamas faced the full brunt of Andrew's wrath as the hurricane churned its way across these regions, leaving a wake of catastrophic damage. Imagine, if you will, the terror of the winds howling at more than 150 miles per hour, the relentless rain pounding like a thousand hammers, and the storm surge swallowing the land. Homes were ripped apart, businesses were decimated, and lives were forever changed. The hurricane's devastation was so severe that it redefined the very way we measure the intensity of hurricanes. The aftermath was a scene straight out of a post-apocalyptic movie. Entire communities were flattened, infrastructure was obliterated. It was as if a giant hand had swept across the land, leaving nothing in its path untouched. The cost of the damage was astronomical, a staggering $25 billion. That's billion with a B. Insurance companies were left grappling with the enormity of the disaster. Claims flooded in as victims tried to rebuild their lives, their homes, their communities. The scale of the payout was unprecedented, a monumental $25 billion. It was a sum that shook the foundations of the insurance industry, forcing a reassessment of the way insurance policies were written and priced. In the face of such destruction, the insurance industry stepped up, playing a critical role in the recovery process. They provided the financial support that enabled individuals, businesses, and communities to rebuild, to come back stronger and to face the future with renewed resilience. Andrew's wrath was a wake-up call for the insurance industry, underscoring the need for robust coverage. This devastating event highlighted the vital role of insurance in our lives, not just as a safety net, but as a lifeline in the face of unpredictable and potentially catastrophic events. Lastly, we visit 2011, a year that witnessed one of Japan's most powerful earthquakes. This was the infamous Tohoku earthquake, a disaster that shook the world, both literally and metaphorically. It was the most powerful earthquake ever recorded in Japan, and the fourth most powerful earthquake in the world since modern record-keeping began in the late 19th century. The earthquake was only the beginning of the catastrophe. It triggered a devastating tsunami with waves reaching heights of up to 40 meters. Entire towns were swept away, and the damage was catastrophic. In the aftermath, the world watched in shock as the scale of destruction became apparent. The death toll was staggering, the infrastructure damage immense, and the economic impact profound. It was a disaster that underscored the vulnerability of even the most prepared nations to the forces of nature. The insurance industry was hit hard.
The Tohoku earthquake and tsunami led to an unprecedented insurance claim of $35 billion. This was a record-breaking payout, reflecting the magnitude of the disaster and the extensive damage it caused. The payout helped in the recovery efforts, supporting rebuilding and rehabilitation, and mitigating the economic impact. In the face of such overwhelming destruction, the insurance payout was a lifeline, a beacon of hope in the midst of despair, a disaster of epic proportions and a stark reminder of the essential role insurance plays in our world. So what have we learned from this journey through history? From the $6 billion US-Canada outage to the staggering $35 billion payout for the Tohoku earthquake and tsunami, insurance has played a pivotal role in recovery efforts. It's more than just a financial safety net, it's a lifeline that fosters resilience, mitigates economic losses, and aids in rebuilding shattered communities. Insurance, an unsung hero ever ready to step in when disaster strikes. Until next time, stay insured, stay safe.